Hello and good morning. My name is Markus Biedermann. I'm the Unit General Manager for Air Traffic Control here at Gatwick Airport and I welcome you to today's Learn Live from Gatwick Airport. Right now on today we are broadcasting from the Air Traffic Control Tower and it is 44 meters high. That means I am right now at this moment standing about 44 meters above the ground and if I would throw an apple out of this window it would take up to four or five seconds to reach the ground. We don't throw things out of the window here because we want to stay safe. That's what air traffic control is about. And today you will learn a bit more about air traffic control, the air traffic controllers and the assistants because later on you will meet two of my colleagues which will introduce themselves to you in a short movie. And at the end of it you will have the pleasure to talk to Al Kanchinasi, one of our air traffic service assistants, and to ask him any question that you like. So I would ask you to think of questions that you want asked at the end of the movie already while you're watching the movie so that Alcan doesn't have to stand here and coming up with something on his own. Talking a bit about Gatwick Airport, I can tell you that Gatwick Airport is one of the busiest single runway airports in the world, which means on a busy day we have up to 1000 times an aircraft landing and or departing here at this airport. If you now imagine that every single aircraft has around 180 passengers on board in average, you can easily calculate how many passengers are going through Gatwick Airport every single busy day. But before we are going uh, into the movie and the live broadcast, I would like to show you a 24 hour time lapse video which has been taken here from the air traffic control tower so you can see what an air traffic controller is able to see almost every single day. I hope you enjoy. That was great. Thank you very much, Marcus. Um, Alcan, are you there? Can you hear us okay? 
Hello. Excellent. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Yourselves? Yes, excellent. Is, are you, uh, you're, so you're live in the watchtower itself this morning? Yeah, that's correct. Morning from the Gatwick Air Traffic Control Tower. As you can see, a very busy morning here, approaching close to 1,000 movements for the summer period now. I'm going to introduce a video clip that we've done in coordination with our watch manager here. It's based on the day of life of air traffic control and all our staff in the control tower. I hope you enjoy it. When I was younger, I wanted to be a pilot, but uh, my career took a different path and I'm in a job now that I love. My name is Matt Taylor, I'm an air traffic watch manager at Gatwick. My role as a watch manager is to make sure the operation uh, is running. I am there to support the controllers and the assistants in the tower. I also liaise with the airport and also with the radar controllers down at Sonic to make sure Gatwick runs. I'm also there to put on emergencies if uh, required, so we're calling the fire service out to a, an incident with an aircraft. To retain my licence, I also plug in as a controller as well. I have to do that for a set number of days or hours a month. My name's Alkan Shinasi and I am a lighting panel operator for Gatwick Air Traffic Control. The lighting panel operator routes aircraft along the taxiways onto the runway with the use of green centerline lights. So essentially like a traffic light system. Green is for go, red is for stop. The main bit of kit that we use to complete our roles in the Gatwick Control Tower is our headsets. These headsets are plugged in to the ground frequency which the ground movement controller is controlling. We listen to the readbacks from the pilots. When these are incorrect, we normally alert the controller to any readback conflictions. I got into my role uh, back in 2007. I used to work for British Airways and I got interested in air traffic through a visit to the control tower. I ended up going through the college, which was about two years training altogether. And I came to Gatwick uh, in 2013 after previously be working at Luton as a controller. I then progressed uh, as the watch manager last year and I'm where I am now. While studying during my secondary education, I discovered a fond interest in biology, combined with physics and some geography to help out in my future aspirations of becoming an air traffic control system. With physics, it helps with the fact that the ground speed combined with actual true speed of aircraft along the taxiways and on the approach for Gatwick. The basic rule of thumb for air traffic control is ultimately five GCSEs. However, most people you find have studied further post GCSE into sixth form education. We're looking for people who have uh, common sense, an aviation awareness, an understanding of what the job entails. Spatial awareness is critical, your ability to think in a 3D way uh, when you're looking at either a 2D picture on the radar screen or even out of the control room here at Gatwick. Math is important because we use it every day. We use it for calculations on separations of departures, um, assessing speeds of aircraft inbound and working out how that's going to equate to a departure gap, for example. Teamwork is an essential skill in the Gatwick Air Traffic Control Tower. We will continuously monitor each other's work to ensure everybody is safe. The one piece of advice I give anybody wishing to enter air traffic control is to continue to do great in your GCSEs and continue post A levels. I'm really lucky uh, what I do here at Gatwick and I've got uh, the best office view 150 foot up and if you want to be here with me my advice to somebody is not to give up. <laughs> <laughs>